I'm a junior here at SSA, and I'm going to interview Coach Estrada, our former soccer team coach. Hi. Um, so, why did you leave the soccer team? Uh, the few years that I spent here have been real fun, and unfortunately, uh, during that time I had a really good offer to go coach at uh, another program. So as much as I wanted to stay and continue here with St. Scholastica, unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to uh, accomplish both things at the same time. So that's the main reason I had to leave. Did you feel like your last year as a soccer coach at St. Scholastica was fulfilling? Well, fulfilling, you know, I wouldn't say so. I would have loved to stay here a couple more years and I'll continue working with uh, some of the girls who are still um, going to be seniors now since I started three years ago. Yeah. Um, the juniors and sophomores and even the freshmen last year who are sophomores now. It was real fun working with them. I wish I had more time to work with them. So. Well, um, the, along with the taxi rumor going on, Leah wants to know what you would do if, you, if she ever got one of your taxis. <laughs> um, just because it's Lydia. <laughs> Only because of Lydia. I probably would um, ask her hi, you know, see how she's doing, and take her to every destination. It would probably be a free ride, but one time only, okay, Lydia? <laughs> um, back to the soccer team. What advice do you have to the team for this year? Well, my biggest, well, there's a few things that I'd like to tell them, but um, especially as you're part of the soccer team, too, I'd like to tell everybody uh, involved with the soccer team. Um, the main thing is I would like for them to continue, have fun, make it easy on the new coach. I heard that the person's a real stickler, you know, can be a, a very, very, very tough person to work with. No, I'm just kidding. He's a really good coach. I happen to know him well. Um, I hope that the seniors are able to go past and further and finally beat North Shore Country Day win a little championship. And uh, just keep on going and have the most fun they can while working hard getting good grades, and uh, just doing their best to that. Um, do you think Scholastica made you a better coach, and if so, how? Wow. Uh, I think Scholastica is the main reason why I continue being a coach. Uh, working with students, you know, here at St. Scholastica, put me through the hardest, yet funnest time in my life. Uh, um, so you mentioned before that you hope our team it's to be at North Shore Country Day. Um, how do you feel about getting the soccer team to only second place in the regionals? <laughs> well, only second place is a, uh, you know, I've always said it throughout the seasons. I don't care if the team would win or lose, but if they would compete. Um, I believe we competed every year. And uh, the first time we played North Shore Country Day, I think we lost 11 to 1. Mm -hmm. So I remember that. And uh, getting them to second place and losing our last year only one nothing both games. Uh, it's actually a big achievement I give to the whole team, not only through my coaching, but through the girls growing up and learning how to play and improving that much more. So it sucks that we only got to second place, but I think it's still an achievement. And uh, hope, I was hoping that this year uh, that would change. So. Um, and finally, what do you hope to take from your experience here at St. Celeste on the field towards your coaching your team? Well, through the coaching aspect, um, I've taken a lot of things. I've seen how uh, young ladies operate and what's more important, you know, either walking dogs or, you know, going to dances or coming to soccer games. You know, um, it's one of those things that you just learn through experience. And uh, my experience here has been great. I really can't complain about anything. Uh, one of the most important things that I learned here is that um, you get to build relationships with people, even through coaches and uh, players, and those relationships make you a better person. And uh, You actually do have a tendency to care a lot for the group and uh, hope that they do the best, not only on the soccer field, but in school also. Where are you going to be working? <laughs> uh, the new program I'm with is uh, actually a kids program. Uh, it's you five-year-olds through uh, all the way through high school. It's a club. It's called Team Evanston. So it's right here in Evanston. I'm basically a little neighbor. Uh, I didn't go to another school. You know, I, if I had a choice, I would have stayed at this school. Um, but over there, I'm coaching a very similar 
uh, age group. I'm coaching a U14 girls team and a U9 boys team. And I'm also uh, the, the skills coach for the program. So, so far it's going really great. I like the program a lot. And uh, unfortunately, like I said, as time goes, I couldn't do both. So. We're going to miss you. <laughs> I'm going to miss you girls more, I think. Uh, through all the time and uh, through everything that we've gone through, it's been very fun. And, uh, my biggest lament, if, I, if it may be, is that I'm not able to be here for the fourth year. Uh, it was a very tough decision to accept the full-time coaching job from where I'm at now and actually give this up. This was my main, uh, my main issue and I spoke with the athletic director about it and looked many ways to try to make it work. But uh, unfortunately, it wouldn't be fair to you girls if I was only here part-time and uh, not really giving you the most uh, time and consideration that you girls did. Well, I'm, I hope you have many new good experiences in your new job, and we'll miss you very much. Thank you very much. I miss everybody. Love you all.